our feet, and these guys lay down here to help. We're going to begin to pray for the sick. We're going to begin to lay hands on the sick. The very first thing I want to tell you, Sister Nellie ministers in the Philippines. She has a ministry into the Philippines where she feeds thousands of people, takes shoes to thousands of Filipinos. That's her native country. And she's mightily used in healing, mightily used of God, loves Jesus with all her heart. And she's come here tonight to, to add, to contribute, to supply the part of the spirit that she's called to minister tonight. And so I'm going to ask her to help pray for the sick. If you have problems in your bones, got problems in your bones, I want you to come right around over here on the stage. I specifically want to minister to people with problems in their bones today. We're going to pray for all the sick. The very first thing I want to do, I'll be obedient, and I want to minister to anybody that's dealing with issues in your bones. I just want you to come around here. Bone, bone huh? issues. Come right around. Come right up the ramp here. Anybody, this is, this is, he just said, call them up here if you've got issues with your bones. You've got issues with your bones in any way, shape, or form. Come right on around the ramp. Come up here. Anybody dealing with issues in their bones. Sister Nelly is going to begin to minister to you under the power of the Spirit. She's going to specifically minister to people with issues with their bones. Now, you guys that are right here, right here, uh, right here, I hear the word liver. Who's got an issue with their liver? Who's dealing with an issue with their liver? I'm going to say it like I see it. Sometimes alcohol causes problems with the liver. Who, who's been dealing with a problem with their liver? And it's probably alcohol related. Are you in a van back there? Are you in a van? Sir, is it you? Have you had problems with your liver? Daryl, have you had problems with your liver? Would you know either way? <laughs> Sister Cheryl, would you pray? I, I want to see you live a long life. I want you to live a long life. And I just know some things. If, if, you, if you think I'm here from Jesus, then I'm here about this too. Issues with the liver. Headaches. Somebody's been having headaches. One of the young people, is it you? Headaches? Honey, have you been having headaches? Yeah. No headaches at school? No problems at school? Come up here. Dad, Pastor Robert, would you come up here? And would you just have a father daughter prayer? Just start praying. Just start praying over your daughter right there. Who's got issues in their stomach? Issues of the stomach. You? Don't mess with that. No, mess with Anybody that. have an, uh, an issue with their no. heart? <laughs> Lisbeth said during worship, the Lord revealed to her somebody was having a challenge with their heart, like a weak heart. Is there anybody here? It could be somebody they're filming. I didn't even think about that. Somebody watching, maybe dealing with a stomach or a heart issue. Join your faith with me tonight. Father, we just say right now, we release your healing power in the stomach and in the heart of those individuals listening or watching now or in the future. Lord, you know who they are. Reach through to their living room, to their situation. And Lord, we thank you for your healing power right there. We release that by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if we haven't called out your, your, your physical problem and you're sitting back there and you're like, man, I, I do have a physical issue, but it's nothing you've mentioned and you would like prayer, would you just come right here? You have any kind of physical challenge, sickness, disease, or injury, and you'd like prayer, would you just come right here right now? We just want to pray for you. We want you to be well. That's the very reason. and worship and we'll close this out. If you're
you're in here, if you're here, and depression is something you've been dealing with, and maybe you don't even know it's depression. It's just like your energy's at a low level. Life is just kind of mundane. There's just something, but you don't know what it is. You can't quite put your finger on it. Man, I just felt God right there. Jesus is saying, I want to speak to your darkness right now. I want to speak to your darkness. If that's you, come here. We just want to pray over you. Man, I've had my moments. I might just lay hands on my own self. If, 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 it, if and that's all I'm going to say, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. If you're here and you'd like to pray for that. stability needs to come. But he's got grace. Everybody falls from time to time. The Bible says righteous fall seven times, but he delivers them out of them all. You need a financial miracle. There's 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 gifts being handed out right here. I really believe in miracles. God's got miracles for you. Somebody should get a t-shirt that just says miracles. Miracles. I'm going to come down and pray for you. They're going to start the praise and the worship again. And we're just going to pray this miracle out into your life here. 